I am in Mid Journey and this is a paid AI program. It's an image generator. I am going to go into the little search prompt here and because I'm looking for vintage tags, that is exactly what I'm going to write. But I'm going to make a little bit of a difference and put blue to see what they come up with. Some really nice ones. These are all really, 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 really beautiful. So this slot here I've already done and that's already made into tags. But I'm now going to go back. Or it could be green. I mean, these are all really, really pretty. They are really nice. So heck why not just go for these ones now the only thing with these ones sometimes is that they're a little bit odd and weird so this one's probably a no-go because it looks like it's a woman's hair with no head on it and this looks like a monster this one is usable and this one is pretty and she's fine but this one still looks a bit weird with hair this one's okay so maybe not this one let's go for another one and I want to use these tags as clip art to either sell individually or as a set or just use for my own personal journaling and this is a good set here so let's have a look they all work really well for me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the image then I'm going to go into Canva and then I'm going for US letter and I have my US letter blank canvas here so I'm now going to right click paste there they are so we're going to make them large and what I can do is actually use those as clip art for good notes so I can Send these onto my good notes as transparent background. I'll show you how to do that. And then I can crop in good notes and just use one of that and just put them in my notebooks as well. But before I do that, I need to make sure that the background of these tags are transparent. They're not, they're white at the moment. So we're going to make them transparent. So I'm going to go to edit photo and up here, BG remover, which means background. And that is good to go. Now I need to make sure that the whole page is transparent and ready to upload into good notes. But before I do that, I might just quickly put a heading in. And all I do now is I go over to share to download and I make sure it's a PNG and I also click this little button which makes the transparent background true. Let's download it and we will have a look. So I'm going to add a page here and add a background just to show you that it does actually work. We're going to go to upload, upload the file you have, not this one, this is the original. And this should be the PNG that I uploaded and as you can see even there it's transparent. It definitely is transparent so this is good for good notes let's get rid of the background this one's good to go as is now if I wanted to make this into clip art I totally can I can make this larger I can make them both larger if I wanted to and it's just simply a matter of moving the side margins in and so that one's pretty much ready to go and there's your one clip art and once again what you can do is go up to share download png but make sure it's the file that you're looking at the current file png you can make it higher with the dpi if you wish compress file no transparent background yes it's down that we'll download that we'll go for a new page and we'll put in a new background and something a little bit different something a bit more vintagey that's a good feel let's go to upload upload files there it is, comes in here. It's actually quite good because this is a US letter, so it's got reasonable resolution. Is it a vector? No. Is it good enough to actually print as a large one? Not really, it is a slightly blurry, but as a tag on a US letter, that is perfectly fine. So that works nicely. Let's go and look at some others that I've ha had a look at that I've got. So I found the slot here, which I've which is really lovely and again you can actually make these into individual clip arts if you want to you can upscale now in mid journey which I will flip over to I'll show you how to upscale and make your own tags now I'm in mid journey and I've made some browsers previously so in the message bar below it's slightly out of focus and sorry I can't move it up is your backspace and imagine prompt and I'm going to write vintage blue I might just change the color pink tag for a present and I'm also going to put high quality and let's see what they come up with so there's my prompt and it's now generating or thinking about generating so it's taking its time so here we are guys these are really pretty I might actually upscale this one one two three so one two three let's upscale and make this into a larger square right that's very pretty and I can make this into clip art if I wanted to or a tag to become a printable. Let's click on it. That's actually quite nice and that would work as is. But if you wanted to upscale, you just go up here, upscale by two, upscale by four. Let's see what upscale by four looks like. I've upscaled here by four and this one here is upscaled by two and you can see that there's a slight difference between quality. So there's my originally upscaled version. Here's my upscaled by two. 
And here's my upscaled by four and you can tell that there is a difference between quality and detail. Let's open that one up. That is a good to go one and it's got a nice white background. You can write in your prompt white background as well. Let's right click, copy image and we're going to go back into Canva. I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste. We're going to make that big to see what the quality is like. And that is really good. That is four times upscaled. And this still looks really awesome, almost a full US letter length. Now we're going to get rid of the background, easy to do in Canva. Go into edit photo, remove background. Okay, that's good. That's got a transparent background and that is clip art for you. You can sell these anywhere you like. Let's go and make a sheet of these. As principles or not notability or good notes tags and sometimes it's good to have a number if you're going to print them off they'll look good in a number of journal pages so you can do a whole bunch of the same ones I'm going to all of these. I'm going to copy and paste. just enough room so that you can crop these out if you need to so I'm going to collect them all and make them slightly smaller so they fit the page and then you can put in a title And to make this transparent easy, you just go to share again, you go to download, make sure the PNG and that you have ticked the transparent background and that you've picked the current page, which is this one for download. And so all of that is transparent background. If I want it, now if I wanted to make this a printable easy, just make it a PDF download. PDF standard. I tend to do this one just for myself and download it. Now if you wanted to change the color and make them slightly different just pick one, select one, edit photo and then we're going over to the see all. Move it over and you get these slightly variations, slight variations. So if we look at this one here you'll see that it's slightly different from the one next door to it. So it's quite nice. I actually quite like that more plainer one to be honest. And then you can cut and paste and cover these and then do the same and just make another sheets worth. So you have a double, you might have two sheets worth of the same sort of tag in different colours. The world is your also when it comes to beautiful tags to put on presents at, or in your journals as clip art, as stick-ons, as paste-ons and layers. Hope you enjoyed this video. Midjourney is a great website and so is Canva. Have a blessed day.